Hi friends, I'm author Stacy McAnulty and I've written a new book. It's called Brains, Not Just a Zombie Snack. And it's all about how our brains work as told by a very friendly zombie who is definitely not going to eat your brain. This um, book is considered nonfiction because it's filled with facts. Now, I had this idea for the book years ago while I was on vacation. I was just intrigued by the human brain, and I'm like, I'm going to write a kid's book about the brain. But before I could do that, I had to do research. I had to look up all these interesting facts about the brain and decide what I was going to put into the book. Um, so now I know a bit more about the brain, and I thought it would be fun to see what you know about the brain or about your brain. So do y'all want to play a game with me? Do you want to play So You Think You Know Your Brain? I think you do. Let's give it a try. Let's find out what you know about brains. Now, the game is pretty simple. I'm going to give you a statement, and if you think it's true, give me a thumbs up. If you think it's false, give me a thumbs down. Now, I am very aware that you all have brains, so I'm imagining you're going to do a pretty good job. But also, I'm trying to make this a little hard. I'm trying to make it a little tricky so I can show off to you what I have learned about brains. Shall we begin? Let's play So You Think You Know Your Brain. First statement. Your brain is a muscle. Your brain is a muscle. True or false? True or false? Lock in those answers. This one is false. Your brain is not a muscle, but you have over 600 muscles in your body. Your hand has 30 muscles. Your largest muscle is in your butt. Uh, it is your gluteus maximus. Your smallest muscle is in your ear. Also, your smallest bone is in your ear. Your brain is more is an organ, and it is more like a computer. It takes information in, and it sends information out. Can y'all do me a favor? I want you to take your pointer finger and place it on your nose. Well done. Your brain helped perform that action. You heard me say, put your pointer finger on your nose. That information went into your brain, and then your brain told ear muscles in your shoulder, your arms, your fingers to touch your nose. So information came in and information went out. Now, in this picture, it looks like just, you know, a single bit of information comes in and a single bit of information comes out, but it's more like this. Lots of information coming in and lots of information going out all the time. Your brain is actually doing more computing than the world's fastest, biggest computer. Your brain is amazing. It's taking in so much and telling your body to do so much all um, faster than any computer that we currently have on Earth. Amazing. Next statement. An adult brain weighs about three pounds. An adult brain weighs about three pounds. True or false? True or false? Lock in those answers. This one is true. An adult brain does weigh about three pounds. That's about two to three percent of the weight of an adult. So for me, that would be about two to three percent um, of my weight is my brain. Here's what it would look like as a pie chart. Just that little sliver of blue is how much of my body would be my brain weight. However, my brain uses a lot of energy. So this chart shows how much energy my brain would use. So it just uses, it's a small organ, but uses a lot of energy. It actually uses so much energy, it's enough to light a light bulb. Our brains um, require all this energy, so we have to take care of our brains by eating well and getting rest. Because if we don't have enough energy, our brains aren't going to function right. So make sure that you get your sleep and you eat your vegetables. Next statement. These are your 
five senses. Sight, hearing, smell, touch, running. These are your five senses. Sight, hearing, smell, touch, running. So is this one true or false? What do you think? True or false? This one, of course, is false. Yes, we have sight, we're using our eyes for sight, hearing, using our ears, smell, using our nose, touch, using like our, our hands, but also our skin. We can feel things all over our body. And um, running is not a sense. Our last sense is taste. Our tongue, our mouths are doing the tasting. So those are our five senses. That's where our brain is getting all the information from our surroundings and making all the decisions. Next statement. A baby has about as many brain cells as an adult. A baby has about as many brain cells as an adult. True or false? What do you guys think? Lock in those answers. This one is True, and I did not know this until I started researching the book. A baby, an adult, an old person, all has about 86 billion, that's with a B, 86 billion neurons. Those are our brain cells, the brain cells that are doing the work. They are fed by the glial cells, but it's the neurons that are kind of the what's doing the thinking. They're all part of our nervous system. And the neurons... We have 86 billion as a baby and 86 billion as an adult. So how are we becoming smarter? We're not creating new neurons to become smarter. So what, what makes us smarter? Well, these neurons, what they do is they talk to each other. They create pathways between each other as we learn new skills. So if we are learning our multiplication facts, we are going to create a pathway between neurons. As we repeat that action, as we practice, as we study, we are gonna create more pathways, stronger pathways, and more and more. And this is true for our multiplication facts, it's true for spelling words, it's true for learning a new language, it's also true for learning to tie our shoes and to hit a baseball. Every time we learn a new skill, we are creating new pathways, and then they become stronger and better pathways. And after we do it over and over again, it becomes easier to retrieve that information, to remember our multiplication, or to remember how to tie our shoes because we have these really strong pathways created. Very cool, isn't it? That's why practice and doing things again and again is so important. Next statement. The brain makes your heartbeat. True or false? The brain makes your heartbeat. True or false? This one is true. Um, your brain has different parts. The part that's making your heartbeat is called the brain stem. Here it is highlighted in pink. The brain stem is doing a lot of the stuff we don't think about. Uh, keeping our heart beating, making sure we're breathing, blood pressure, temperature, all that stuff is taking place in the brain stem. And this is happening automatically. We don't have to tell our eyes to blink. We don't have to tell our lungs to inflate with air. They're doing it automatically. So yay, brain stem. But there are more parts to the brain, like the cerebellum. This is at the back of our brain, kind of the base of our skull. And this is doing a lot of stuff we don't think about either, such as our posture, keeping us upright, balance, coordination, and parts of speech. This is a lot of those big motor skills. Now, as a baby, we have to learn this. We have to learn to crawl and then walk and then run and jump. But now we've created those strong pathways and our cerebellum is doing this kind of automatically for us. So yay, cerebellum. And then finally, your biggest part of your brain, the gray stuff, is the cerebrum. In this picture here, it's in four different colors, kind of the yellow, light blue, purpley, and pink colors here. This is what makes you you. This is what makes us human. In this part of the brain, we're, take, we're interpreting from um, all those senses. We're interpreting touch and hearing and sound. 
um, as well as we are, this is where we are reasoning. This is where we are learning. This is where our emotions and our dreams are and our fine motor skills. This is where your personality is, is in the gray stuff. Everything that makes you, you is coming from the cerebrum. So a very large part of the brain, a very important part of the brain, maybe the most special part of the brain, though we do need all of it. Next question. We are the smartest animals because we have the biggest brains. We are the smartest animals because we have the biggest brains. True or false? True or false? This one is false. We do not have the biggest brains of every animal. The sperm whale has a 17 pound brain. You'll remember a human adult brain is only about three pounds. So a sperm whale's brain is much bigger, though 17 pounds isn't that big for a sperm whale. We also don't have the biggest brain um, compared to our body size. So what is, makes us so special? Well, that uh, cerebrum is very large on humans, and that allows us to pack in lots of neurons. Humans pack in more neurons than other smart animals. And we do this because we have folds in our brains or wrinkles in our brain. And we know the more neurons we have, the more pathways we can create. So we are chock full of neurons. Other animals, if this suitcase represented a brain, other animals have neurons in there, but a human suitcase or a human brain is chock full of neurons. So we have lots and lots of neurons, lots and lots of opportunities to create those pathways, lots and lots of ways for us to become super smart animals. Last question. Humans know a lot about the brain. Humans know a lot about the brain. True or false? Now, really, this is kind of an opinion question, right? And in my opinion, we don't know enough. I want to know more about the brain. There are diseases out there that affect the brain, such as Alzheimer's and Parkinson's, and there are no cures for these diseases. And we need cures. We need more neuroscientists. That's brain doctors, brain scientists. Um, so we need, we need more um, people to learn about the brain. And then we can help with these diseases. We could also become even smarter animals. The more we know how it works, maybe the better we'll be at operating our own brains. So I think we have a long way to go, which I find very exciting. Maybe you want to be a neuroscientist someday. Maybe. I think the brain is pretty cool. And if you do too, maybe that is a path that you will want to go down yourself. So did you learn a lot about the brain? I know when I was doing research, I certainly did. And there's even more information in the book. This was just a sample. So now I encourage you to go pick up the book, see how we put that information in there, see how we talk about neurons and the different parts of the brain and look for some other facts as well. And at the back of the book, there's even a list of even more interesting facts about the brain. So I hope you check it out. I know your brain will thank you for learning more and creating those new pathways in your neurons. So thanks guys and happy reading.